For devotees of flying saucers, June is a very special time. It was fits of UFOs and aliens among us began filtering in. A number of opinion polls suggest that as many as 48% of all Americans believe that aliens visit Earth. That could mean that there's a ready market for Dan Aykroyd's latest film, but this is no Conehead reunion. It's a documentary, Dan Aykroyd, Unplugged on UFOs. Anderson recently spoke with Aykroyd and producer David Sarita. So you, you really believe that UFOs exist? Why? Uh, well, I think uh, the preponderance of anecdotal evidence uh, from pilots, from law enforcement people, from people who have had experiences and sightings. Uh, I think uh, also my own experience, I, I've had a, a high altitude sighting with three other people and it definitely wasn't a helicopter, uh, a jet. Now, of course, you know, a professional would discount my sighting and say, well, you don't really know. And, I, you know, I can't sit here and tell you 100% that I saw a craft that was created by a, a, a beings from another planet outside of our sphere of technology. I can't tell you 100%. I can just tell you what I saw and what I feel. Mm -hmm. They're here. They're looking at us in a Petri dish. And I've got to say, the way mankind is behaving, they're probably very disappointed. <laughs> uh, David, w why did you make this documentary? Well, actually, in 1968, um, I was seven years old, walking home from elementary school, and all these people were pointing up in the sky at this metallic dish-shaped UFO with a little, you know, knob on the top, and it was clear. This thing was down low, you know, 3,500 feet. If I had had a video camera back then, it would have been the, some of the best footage we've ever seen to date. And when you see one of these things, I mean, 20 clear minutes, people were pounding on their neighbors' doors, get out here, look at this thing, and when you look at it and you replay that in your memory, it's beyond all the videotapes and the photographs. It, it's so real to me, and it was so real to me at such a young age that I, I just couldn't ignore it. So I was engaged at seven years old into this phenomenon. In, in, in the film, Dan, you talk about a personal experience that you had. I just want to play some of that uh, from, from the movie. I woke up in the middle of the night and I said to my wife, they're calling me, they're calling me, I want to go outside. They want me to come outside and see. You who, 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 who? Something outside wants me to come out and say, oh, just go back to bed. I went back to bed, but in the next day in the media, in newspapers, in radio, all over upstate New York and Ontario and Quebec and Vermont, people spoke about this urge they had to go out of their houses at three in the morning and look up into the sky. Come on, is that for, is that for real? Uh, yeah, you could research that. It was in the mid-80s. Uh, in fact, uh, it was a pink spiral that appeared in the sky. People went out, uh, telepathically urged like I was. I didn't go, schmuck. <laughs> and I, 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 they went out in the sky, they saw this pink spiral in the sky, huge, miles, like two miles long, and the Air Force said it was a Chinese rocket. Isn't this sort of one of those things that's like the, the Kennedy assassination? I mean, there are the people... What, no matter what evidence is put forward of the, that there is no evidence or that, that you know, the lights turn out to be a, you know, a, a plane or a helicopter or something or just a, a natural Swamp phenomenon. Gas, balloon, uh, all the old excuses. People, uh, there's nothing, this argument can never be settled. Half the world believes in the latest polls and half doesn't. Right. And those who don't will never believe. You can show them, you show them everything and they're not going to, until they're taken up themselves or the guy walks up and shakes their hand uh -huh. or probes them or whatever they do. <laughs> uh, but I mean, look, do you believe those people who, I mean, there's all these people who, who claim to have been abducted by aliens. I believe them. You do you really? I, I don't believe all of them. Uh. But I was in a room at the Fifth Avenue Medical Institute with John Mack and his staff and his assistant, his clinical assistant, got up and gave a 15-minute presentation that was absolutely riveting. Uh, here is what people are telling us. John Mack was a Harvard psychiatrist. He discovered this through work in hypnosis, and he saw people were regressing and telling these stories. All the evidence, all, it's all the same. Now, is it a mass hallucination? Some people say it's sleep terror. Right. There, there are people who said, well, you know, I, I woke up, I couldn't move, I was paralyzed, it was the aliens who did it, and the doctors say, well, that's sleep terror, you wake up, you feel you can't it move. It could be, it could be, but I, I have... People that I, I believe are credible, that claim they've been taken, that have the scoop marks, the and that that uh, that have been implanted. If they came all by the things that are in wrong, the middle of the night, yes, you I'd go. You yes. go, really? Yeah, as long as I wasn't a pro B, <laughs> and as long as they let me drive, and as long as you'd be back in the morning, or else your wife uh, would kill you. Well, that's right. Or she can come too. <laughs>